Hey everyone, I've had a bunch of people ask for a Spider-Man settings and control video so here we go. First thing I want players to check out is the high contrast spider sense and perfect dodge options at the bottom of the accessibility menu. People always asked me how my spider sense was bright yellow in my Miles Morales vids and here is how. But Insomniac has improved things so now you get your choice of bright colors. And they've also added a separate option for the perfect dodge warning, too. There is no best option here, just whatever works with your own vision or preference. They're great for making things look cooler but mainly for improving the visibility of incoming attacks in the game. You'll see in the rest of the video that I usually play with cyan high contrast spider sense and a yellow high contrast perfect dodge. Next we'll go with shortcuts as those are my own personal preference. You may want the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app on a shortcut if you find swiping to get to the app awkward. But I have the camera gadget and 30% game speed commands on my shortcut. It's nice to have the camera on an easy button for completing the photo opportunities around the city but here's the real reason I do it. Because I like to disrespect enemies in a stylish way by taking photos of them during or after a fight. Using a shortcut to turn on 30% game speed may sound like I'm using it as a crutch to make things easy but I only use it in very short bursts in combat to add some extra emphasis to certain moves, or to make things look cinematic when swinging around. The slower game speed is also a massive help when you want to use photo mode because if you want to take a photo of a great moment, the slower speed is great for triggering photo mode at just the right instant. Back in the accessibility menu but starting from the top down, the settings I've changed in the assists are auto aim and swing steering. Enhanced auto aim I turn on because in the heat of combat you just want your web shooters or web strikes to snap to a target when manually aiming. For steering assistance, I know a lot of players will set it to zero as a point of pride but at zero I find the game often gives me maximum length web swings that bring me to the ground. Since we can't control where our web lines anchor or adjust the length of the lines, this is a frustrating guessing game. Setting it at 3 has been a good balance of making me put more thought into how to swing while also giving me a cushion. In the controls area of accessibility, I set repeated button presses to hold. It just saves my thumbs and fingers from so much button mashing. In this video you can see that I have continuous dodge turned on but do not do this. Having this on will mean doing the corner tether move when swinging requires an air dodge before it will work and it looks awkward and crappy. For my own style, I turn off combat camera and camera follow. With combat camera I don't want the game fighting me for control of what to look at, and I have not found that it's great at showing me what I think is important in the moment. Playing without combat camera on does take getting used to though, it requires adjustments between moves or even during moves. For camera follow, I turn it off as when I'm out swinging I like to be the director and choose my own angles. Having the camera always follow me from behind is boring. Related to that is the look sensitivity setting farther below. To control the view of the battlefield you usually need high look sensitivity. I also put aim sensitivity higher to move my view to different targets faster, and with the enhanced auto aim I mentioned earlier you don't need to be as precise. And then just for your own visual benefit, I recommend turning off chromatic aberration in this game but also most games. I just think it always looks better without colors bleeding. <laughs> Lastly, this video may need an update at some point because currently there is no in-game way to remap controls, and also because a big part of my Miles Morales combat used to be using the instant charge jump move. It became an instant jump if you put it on one of the shortcut buttons. My Miles Morales settings video talked about this, but it is currently broken in Spider-Man 2 so hopefully we get a patch for it soon. If we do, I will put out an update video so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.